He is known for being born in 1866 in San Francisco, the eldest of four children of Mary and Frank McGlynn. He is recognized for his upbringing in a family of Irish ancestry, with his father working as a carpenter and later in real estate to support them. His name is Frank McGlynn Sr. In the bustling city of San Francisco in 1866, a young boy named Frank McGlynn Sr. was born into a family of Irish and Australian heritage. He was the eldest of four children, with two younger sisters and a brother named George, who tragically passed away during his childhood. Frank's mother, a native of Australia, had immigrated to the United States with her Irish parents during the California Gold Rush. His father, of Irish descent, supported the family as a carpenter and later ventured into real estate. Frank's journey initially led him down the path of law. He pursued his studies at the University of California, Hastings College of the Law, where he obtained his law degree. In 1894, he was admitted to the bar, ready to embark on a career in the legal field. However, fate had other plans in store for him, and a twist of destiny would alter the course of his life forever. Little did Frank know that his true calling lay in the world of acting. In a serendipitous turn of events, he discovered his passion for the stage and decided to pursue a career in the performing arts. With determination and a burning desire to make his mark, Frank McGlynn Sr. set out on a new path, leaving behind the legal profession to follow his dreams of becoming an actor. In 1896, Frank McGlynn Sr. made a career shift, leaving behind his aspirations in law to pursue a life on the stage. He made his debut at the Casino Theatre in New York, showcasing his talents in the burlesque musical comedy, The Gold Bug. This marked the beginning of McGlynn's journey in the world of entertainment. Over the next 20 years, McGlynn primarily took on supporting roles with stock companies and also appeared in early silent films. However, it wasn't until 1915 that he had his breakthrough in the film industry. At the age of 53, McGlynn had the opportunity to portray Abraham Lincoln in The Life of Abraham Lincoln, directed by Langdon West for the Edison Studios. This role would become a defining moment in his career. Just four years later, McGlynn's career reached new heights when he landed the starring role in the Broadway production of John Drinkwater's play, Abraham Lincoln. This production, which ran for 193 performances at the Court Theatre in Manhattan, showcased McGlynn's talent and earned him widespread recognition. The success of the play led to a national tour that lasted over two years. In 1924, McGlynn had another notable moment in his career when he performed in an excerpt from Drinkwater's play that was recorded for film. Lee DeForest and J. Searle Dolly produced a two-reel short of Abraham Lincoln using DeForest's phonofilm sound-on-film process. While the full film has been lost, surviving film stills offer a glimpse into McGlynn's portrayal of the iconic president. Following his success on Broadway, McGlynn continued to make a name for himself in both stage and film productions. He went on to perform in seven more plays on Broadway, with his final role being Johnny in Frankie and Johnny at the Theater Republic in 1930. McGlynn's portrayal of Lincoln in 1919 rejuvenated his film career, leading to numerous roles where he once again brought the great emancipator to life on the big screen. Throughout his career, McGlynn became synonymous with the role of Abraham Lincoln, portraying the iconic figure in at least 10 films. In one particular film, Are We Civilized?, he even played a character named Felix Bachner, who, within the plot, performs as Lincoln. McGlynn's dedication to the role and his ability to embody the spirit of Lincoln solidified his status as one of the most memorable actors to portray the former president. Frank McGlynn Sr.'s journey from the stage to the screen allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the portrayal of Abraham Lincoln in the world of entertainment. His talent and dedication to his craft ensured that his legacy as an actor would endure far beyond his time in the spotlight. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.